good morning uh, good morning uh, this is another video about uh, the panel and since uh, a friend asked me you know question about panels after he took a SAP and he has a lot of uh, difficulties with the panels and panel could be crazy sometimes you know but uh, I post uh, a panel video yesterday and uh, this is the second one and this is a particular question that they ask and the SAP if you were in the lab for a long time and you're not a blood banker and then trying to take the SAP exam this could be challenging you know you have not been working in the station and the only thing that you have is your book and you know and if you haven't have haven't had a chance to sit on the bench with the blood banker that can teach you those stuff it could be very difficult for you to knock uh, down the SCP exam and that's the reason I'm uh, doing these videos just to lay down a few stuff for you guys if you planning to take the SAP like you can see to the right here I have uh, reactions okay we plus two plus two plus one plus zero 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 one plus and I have this reaction right there and, and like in my previous video I said uh, you know you when you get this reaction the way to proceed you is to see what antibody over there that will perfectly match the reaction and uh, with this one we have multiple antibodies that match the reaction more than one and i want you to look at this dolphies look at this dolphy 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 b cell number one number two positive look at that three plus and two plus positive that one two Look at that number four, five, and six positive. Four and five positive, but six negative. So, okay. Look, this could be confusing when you have, you're going to ask your, yourself question. Well, well, I want it to be Duffy B. Why six is negative? Well, I mean, six is positive for Duffy over there, but he's negative in the reaction. So, and you go down and you say, okay, well, you know what? Let's see number 10. Look, number 10 is positive. Okay. And we go down. Number 11. Also positive. You know, in your mind, you say, well, this must be Duffy B, right? Okay. So, <laughs> let's take a look at. Duffy A, look at that. Duffy A has a bunch of reaction number three, cell number three. Okay, four, cell number three, four. This is positive. Uh, number, uh, number three, four, and five. It's positive for Duffy A. Confusing, isn't it? Okay, uh, Number 10 also is positive, right? It's positive. So you confusing. You say, you say okay, well, right, that's a your stuff. And this is just the beginning. You got JK, JKB, look at that, kids. Uh, number one, number two, number three cell positive, and they all positive to the right. And you, you, and, you, and you say, well, this is getting interesting. That's crazy. Well, how come I have I have so many cells that's positive to each other? Which antibody this reaction perfectly match? Well, getting challenging. Now you get confused and frustrated in the exam. And then the question was, you have this reaction. What will be your next step? That's the question. The question will, will want they won't ask you which antibody this will be. They will ask you what will be your next step in order to find your correct antibody. And that's a common question in the exam. Okay. And I want you to look at 
Big C. Look at Big C. The reaction to the right perfectly match Big C. Perfectly match Big C. But you have all those other antibodies you cannot say, well, this is Big C. Because all those antibodies have reaction as well. Or do you know a patient doesn't have multiple antibodies in there? You can't say it's big C, but now would you say it's big C, Duffy A, Duffy B, Kid, all of them? Well, this wasn't the question. The question is what will be your next step? And then this is your next step. When you have a situation like this, okay, you have to rule out antibody that's not there. You do not want to pretend the patient has this kind of antibody and the patient doesn't have it. The next step will be you will enzyme treated this the cells. Write that down in your paper. You will proceed with an enzyme treated process. What that will do after you add the enzyme in, the enzyme will enhance certain antibody and will destroy certain antibody. What does that mean? After you add the enzyme, if the antibody is there, it will be enhanced. If it's not there, it will be destroyed. So, enzyme will enhance those antibodies right there. Big C will enhance Kel, will enhance all those antibodies, and will destroy those. A, those will be killed. It will destroy those right there. So now, in order for you to see which exactly antibody patient has you will use the enzyme treated process with the enzyme treated process will enhance those antibody right there and will destroy the a of b so after the reaction you will have a second reaction over there will perfectly eliminate those the a of b Okay. This is the way you proceed with this kind of panel. And trust me, they will not ask you with antibody it is. They will ask you because they know the reaction is crazy over there and it always might us. They ask you what will be your process. After you do enzyme treated, you will have an answer which antibody to the right that perfectly match the reaction by destroying what's not in there and enhance what's in there thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up you know subscribe uh, send it to your friends and if you have questions do not hesitate to send me your questions I'm willing to answer them whenever I have a chance and peace.